all held hands with one hand and held the mustard seed in the other. And we told this mustard seed to move on our behalf or to move the South Bronx to make it look like Hollywood. I can guarantee you, if you blink your eye, we will be in Hollywood. Amen. Because we have faith to move the situation of the South Bronx. Amen. How far are we willing to go? Amen. How far are you willing to go, church? Amen. If I die, I die. Amen. Right? Amen. We know that scripture, Esther. Amen. If I perish, I perish, I'm going to see the king. Yes. What if she said, you know what? I, I know I'm going to perish. I want to live. I'm going to go back and chill. Amen. What would have happened? Amen. The course of history would have changed. Amen. We are in history right now. And how we move as a church body yeah. will determine if the church goes on. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yeah. How you move now? And the last few times I've been here, I've been saying the same thing over and over. Unity, 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 unity. There's a reason why you have to stay together. Yeah. Because if you stay together, the devil cannot penetrate. Amen. And then you're able to say, we have come too far to turn back. We're going to keep going forward. Yes. But if we allow schisms, if we allow our own emotions and feelings to get in the way of the bigger picture, yes. then we're in trouble. Yes. The devil is after us. Constantly. For some reason, Pastor, we don't learn from, from our mistakes. I don't know what it is. For some reason, I don't know if it's just human nature or, I don't know, Brother Hassan, I don't know. You might know. I don't know. You don't know. I'm glad you don't know. So, we don't know. Why is it that when the devil attacks us, we don't take an eye to it, adjust our movements? and defeat the devil. Amen. Why? I don't know. Every time we're under attack, if you think about it, it's always the same thing. Why? Because the devil sits there and takes notes. And he said, okay, I know what I know what causes Deacon Walters to tick. I know what causes Sister Esther to tick. I know what causes Brother Gordon to tick. I know what causes Sister Prince to tick. So I'm going to keep doing it. And instead of us blocking it, we stand there and take the blow and say, woe is me. God has called, called us to be a people that can destroy the enemy's camp. If we apply the Bible to our lives. It's literally a cheat sheet. You want to know how to make it to the kingdom? Read the Bible. There's nothing more. There's nothing more to it. Yes. I remember in school they had cliff notes. Remember those red yes. and white books? Yes. yes. Well, the young people know. Y'all got Google and all that other crap. But we had cliff notes. And those cliff notes were supposed to help us prepare ourselves for the exam. Yes. Right? We have cliff notes. Amen. Yes. Yes. We have cliff notes. Yes, sir. Amen. Technology has made it even easier. We don't have to carry a big old Bible. Amen. Amen. <laughs> right? We know how the story ends. Yes. We know he's the greatest power and can be defeated. Yes. But yet, for some reason, we still doubt. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Amen. So, to sum this whole thing up, you're probably saying, whoa, you did a lot today. We have come too far to turn back. Amen. Make God's king first Amen. and watch him move in your life. Amen. Be obedient to God and watch the windows of heaven open. Amen. It's just that simple. Amen. When the enemy comes in and attack, and I preach this at my church, don't moan. Thank God for the attacks. Amen. You know why? Because the devil has gone ask permission to touch Job. The Amen. same way he asks, he has to go and ask permission yes. to touch you. Amen. When the test comes in your life, 
It's because God is testing your faith. Amen. I got one clap. I want you guys to get this. I need you to get this. I need us to do better. That requires excellence. So we have to move in excellence. Are you in the church? Yes. So what's should our response be to the Father? To treat us not. Use the same words. To treat me not. To leave me. To leave me. Amen. When Moses realized the presence of God was leaving, he said, God, I don't want to be nowhere. You aren't. Amen. I just want to be in your presence. We've, I've come too far to backslide now. Amen. I've come too far to say I'm going to go burn in hell. Amen. Amen. I've come too far to let somebody stumble me for what I know. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to wrap this whole thing up, tell God I thank you today. Tell God I thank you. Why? Because God has spoken. God has spoken. Yes. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. Make God's cake first. Yes. Trust God to do the impossible. Yes. Don't turn back. Yes. Look forward. Yes. And watch God move on your behalf. Yes. That's all he wants us to do, to acknowledge him. Yes. So that he can move on our behalf. Yes. There's no way you can prepare a table before your enemies yes. if you're not willing to trust him and sit at the table. Amen. 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 I didn't even write that one Now don't get it twisted. I like to joke and play, but when God speaks, God speaks. Amen. It's time for us to sit at the table Amen. and be at rest. Amen. There's a reason why he said, now we bring the table to yes. the friends of my enemies. Yes. That means your enemies are literally standing and trying to come at you and you're yes. sitting there feasting Amen. at the table Amen. of the front of the Amen. Right? How small of a beginnings we were. And look where we are now. Amen. We got comfortable. 